Do subscribe to Gadgetry 60 for regular tech updates, reviews and features. And don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to know when a new video is posted. Infinix is a relatively new brand in the Indian market and among its smartphones, the company has also launched a couple of headphones. Today we'll be taking a look at the Infinix QuietX active noise cancelling headphones that's priced pretty aggressively. Let's see if these are any good. The QuietX have an over-the-ear design and they are pretty comfortable to wear. Now the ear cups have pretty good cushioning and they feel pretty comfortable and we didn't really encounter any fatigue even after long listening sessions. Now in terms of build quality, the headband itself is built out of plastic. However, you do get this nice rubber lining over here so it is comfortable when you wear it. The ear cups themselves are made of an aluminium alloy so they feel pretty sturdy and we quite like the matte black finish. Now the ear cups also have the ability to swivel inwards so they are easy to stow away or simply to have around your neck when you're not listening to music, like so. The ports and the buttons on the QuietX are laid out on the right and left ear cup. Now on the right one, we have a volume rocker and a play pause button that also doubles up if you want to pair it with your device. There's also a micro USB port here for charging the headphone. On the left hand side, we have a 3.5mm headphone socket so you can use the QuietX as a standard wired headphone as well. Other buttons include a switch for power and a dedicated button to activate or deactivate the active noise cancellation. In terms of specifications, the QuietX runs on Bluetooth 4.2 and has a frequency range of 20Hz to 20,000Hz. It also supports streaming codecs such as AAC and we even found out that it does support Aptex even though this is not really advertised. Pairing the headphones is a pretty straightforward process and you can have two active connections at the same time. The active noise cancellation does work decently well in isolating you from your environment. However, nearby sounds are still audible. For instance, someone sitting next to you and typing on a keyboard is still faintly audible if you don't have music playing or even people's voices around you for that matter. Now the one thing that we didn't quite like about the QuietX is that the leaks sound a lot, especially when you push the volumes beyond 70%. This might not be ideal for many, especially if you're going to be using them in a quiet environment a lot. Coming to the audio quality itself, the headphones produce really good bass, which is good if you listen to a lot of hip-hop and bass-heavy tracks, provided you have the active noise cancellation switched on. When you turn it off, the bass kind of falls a bit flat and isn't very exciting. However, the headphones really struggle with mid-range frequencies, which sound a bit muddy and aren't very distinct. In many of the tracks we tested, they are often subdued and are often overpowered by the bass frequencies, and vocal performance isn't very good. The headphones also have a built-in microphone, which work pretty well for answering calls, even when you're out and about. We didn't really face any issue and we were able to hear the caller pretty well. When using them as wired headphones, we noticed that the sound quality didn't really improve all that much. Now, Infinix claims a battery life of around 24 hours. However, we managed to get nearly 16 hours, which is a bit short, but still not pretty bad. Overall, the Infinix QuietX is a pretty well-designed and good-looking pair of headphones. If you go by the introductory price of 5,000 rupees, then they do offer pretty good value. They're comfortable to wear, the buttons are easy to reach, the noise cancellation is also pretty decent, and if you listen to bass-heavy tracks, then you might quite like the sonic signature of these headphones. On the other hand, they are pretty mediocre sounding if you don't have active noise cancellation turned on, which could be a problem if your battery is depleted and you wish to use them as standard wired headphones. They also leak a lot of sound if you have the volume levels anything above 70%. And these are not really the ideal headphones if you wish to get a lot of detail out of your music. So thanks for watching our review and for all things tech, log on to gadgetry60.com.